Lavita. Quest Um Um Where is everybody that I know? Pauline Jordan Keith Okay. Anybody else I'm missing to put in here? Share, share, share. Oh, uh, we can show her too if she wants to. Oh, oh, what's to say? Low connection. Don't be doing that to me. Don't be trying to give me a low connection now. Okay, I'm about to show y'all the rice. I don't know why is it that not doing that. I hate when it does that. Hey, girls. Hey, Daya. Okay. The rice looks like it's done. I don't know why is that not letting me share. That is so rude. I mean, okay. See? Oh my god, people, if y'all see this, look at us. Look at that. See, the rice is completely dry. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, better view. Wait a minute. Can I see? Wait a minute. Right there. Okay. Now that the rice is completely dry, now you can take your spoon and mix it around. Look at that. Look at the rice. Look at it. Yes. See the rice, the beans, the sausage. Yes. Look at that. Get into that. And that was only the way that I showed y'all. So it's completely dried. Now you put it on low. You put it on low. Oh my God, I just love the way it looks. Oh my God. If y'all want a plate, y'all come to get it. Y'all more than welcome to. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Get into it. Look at it. Oh, it's so delicious. See? Now, if y'all was to put too much oil, you will see the oil in the rice. See? You don't see no oil look on the rice. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Hey, Paulie, I didn't even know you was on here. Look at that. So, the rice is dried. I mixed it. I mixed it. Then... You take the top, you put it back on, give it like 10 more minutes to be fully cooked, then you can serve whoever you want to serve. Like I serve my special girls. If y'all want some, y'all more than welcome to come by, get a plate. I will be going back on live. To show you how I'm gonna make my pork chops. So once again, I'm gonna show y'all what I use to make the rice. I took the oil. I get that closed. I took the oil. Then I took this little cup right here, fold it up to right here, and I poured it in with the oil. Then I took my seasons. This you can get at Shoprite. This is where I got my stuff at at Shoprite. It's recao in little cubes. In little cubes. Please like and share this video. See? Oh, that's much better. I showed it actually clear now. That's little cubes. You see on the little box it shows the cubes. 
is rekau. Then you can get this all at Shoprite. Hey, Sequoia. Y'all could all get this at Shoprite, okay? All at Shoprite. I put that into the into the pot. Then you can use whatever beans you want. I prefer these. I prefer the smaller beans. Please like and share. And you can use these. Now let me see if I got the big can. I'll show you them. I don't have the big can so and you don't only have to put to make rice and beans you can actually make vegetable rice too this one or this one whatever one y'all like to use the big ones and you can make your rice and beans instead of putting beans you could put mixed vegetables love it and then that's it once again I'm gonna show y'all Oh my God, the smell that comes out of this food, so amazing. So, I don't know who's trying to uh, come on my live, but if y'all trying to come on my live, say, enjoy me. See, the rice and beans, honey, look at that. Yes, look at that rice and beans, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, the rice and beans. That's how you make rice and beans. Who's this? You're trying to come on my live? I don't know who you is, sorry. But that was my rice and beans. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Ooh. And this was only a few couple steps to show you how to make rice and beans. Okay. Once again, this is the way I make my rice and beans. It's easier to do. You can put whatever ingredients you want in, into making your rice. My ingredients, I use a little bit of oil, a little bit of water, because you don't want to put a lot of oil, because if you put a lot of oil, your rice will look oily and it will come out mushy. Remember that. Then I take my seasons that I use. Oh, and I do use this. If you don't want to use this, if you don't want to use this, you can actually use the leaves, which I like the leaves because the leaves give it more of a flavor and it gets more smell to it and this is what I use I use these I use this one but this one didn't give that much flavor this does love it if you go I get it at Walmart you can go to um, your closest supermarket and see if they got it I'm not sure if they will but I'm trying to look for the name here. You can use these, but you have to crunch these up. Crunch them up, dice them, whatever. And then put it. But don't put it when the rice is in there already. That's a no-no. You put it when you have your seasons and your oil and all that stuff. This is the name of it. You can go to ShopRite. This is where I go to ShopRite and get it. It's the same thing as this one. But this one comes in cubes. It's not, it's not of strong of a flavor. So that's this one. I got this at Walmart. Walmart even has it.
Then you put all your, your seasons, whatever seasons. You can even use, you don't have to use the garlic cubes. If you don't want to use garlic cubes, if you can't find the garlic cubes at, at, at one of your grocery stores, your closest grocery store, you don't have to use this. You can actually go get this garlic. Okay? You can put all these flavors, all these flavors into your, um, your rice. But, but actually, you got to put that before the rice goes in the pot. Then you take the adobo. Then you take the big box of Goya Sasson. You take that. You mix it all up. If you want to put, or oh, I put sausage. You could put uh, sausage in your um, rice and beans too. See? I use these sausage. They got the Goya ones, but the Goya ones are more expensive than these. These are actually uh, cheaper. You can actually go to the... To your to your closest dollar store, and get two for a dollar. Your closest dollar store. I use one of them. Cut them up. You cut them up, and you put them in there. Then you let it simmer. You let the uh, all your seasons your seasons simmer for like five minutes. Then you put the beans in. Let the beans simmer with your your flavors, your seasons, whatever is your preference. Let that season simmer. Then you take the rice. Okay, it could be the same as salt. I don't care. Then you put the rice. Then you take the same can that you, you poured your beans into the pot. That same can. You fill the can up as how many people are living with you. If there's four, you take four cans of rice. You pour the rice in here four times. You pour it in your pot. Then you take the same can and fool it, fool it up with water four times and pour it into your pot. Then you mix it. You mix it up. Make sure that the rice is getting the flavor and the seasons. Then you take the edge of your um spoon and you go like that around the pot. Make sure your rice is even. That there's no rice showing. The only thing that's, that's supposed to be showing is the water. Then you take the top and you put the top on it. Do not open the top at all. Don't do no five, every five seconds or every five minutes you go. You have to open up the pot. Because if you take, you have to uh, take the lid off the pot. Because if you do that, then your rice is going to come out soggy. And it's not going to come out the way you want it. Do not open it. You open it when you notice that you're smelling. You, just, you see smoke coming out of it. Smoke, not like it burned. No, no burnt smoke. Because you can smell that. Then, you open it. Oh, my God. If y'all could only be here. See it? The rice is completely dry. I already showed you that, but I'm going to show you again. You see that the rice is not soggy. It comes down like that. It comes down like that. Mm. Love it. Then when you, if you feel like it's finished, and you see that the rice is dry, there's no water in it, then you take it, you mix it around, just like this. Oops, my rice came out. <laughs> just like this. Voila. Mm. See? See? Sorry about that. Mother was calling. And then you put the top back on. Oh, you put the top back on. Top. Then you take your flame. You see it? You put it on low. Very low. Then you wait like for five or ten minutes, and your rice will be done. Then that's when you can serve it. But I'm gonna go back on, as y'all seen, I showed y'all when the rice was actually done. Then I'm gonna come back on and I'm gonna show you how to make the pork chops. Pork chops, baby. 
So, if y'all like, like and share my video. I will be checking if who shared and who didn't share. Okay. And Debbie, you playing the game, not me. Because <laughs> I ain't got nothing, nothing to give. But rice and beans, if y'all want that, okay. <laughs> but y'all have a, a beautiful Monday. Y'all have a great one. God bless. And make sure you like and share. Bye.